Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second episode of the Munch Travelog Show. Um, as we get dive into this new episode, it should be a fun time. I just wanted to give you guys a little disclaimer. We are having some technical difficulties, but if you lose me, don't worry, I'll be back. And we also have a pinch hitter in the background who also will jump in if you don't see me quickly enough. So this episode, we're focusing on Thanksgiving and we featuring two restaurants in Alexandria. The first one we're gonna be looking at today is Sweet Fire Donna. So let's jump right in and see what they're offering for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, everybody. We're here at Sweet Fire Donna's with Miss Danielle Anderson, who is Director of Operations. Thank you for having us today. So, so glad to be here and be part of the Zebra. Very exciting. Well, we're glad that you invited us because uh, I'm looking at the food and I'm like, uh, give me a piece of that ham. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so let me, let's, you know, dive into this whole Thanksgiving when you guys put together. You guys have been in the Carlisle neighborhood for a while now, so why did you decide to do Thanksgiving packages? Well, you know, catering is one of our favorite things to do. Uh, we like to put anything in the smoker that we possibly can. Um, and Thanksgiving is one of those times for comfort food, for people to come right. together. Uh, and as a team and a family here, uh, we like to um, make comfort food for everybody right. else around us and make everybody else's family as happy as we are here. So. All right. So let's talk about the food. So who decided on the menu? Exactly. Uh, well, our, our chef, Andreas, also known as Chucho, oh, who Chucho. you will not only see in the kitchen, but behind the bar as well, because he is one of our weekend bartenders. Cool. Um, he has designed this menu for us, um, thought out a lot of different things, um, and tried to design Thanksgiving in a barbecue fashion. Hey, I'm all about barbecue. It's one of my top five favorite foods. I'm that type of person who puts like barbecue on a spoon and just eats the barbecue sauce. Absolutely. I, I like it. <laughs> So what, tell me about the ham. Like I said, I'm really looking at this ham. I'm staring down it hard. What is the glaze on the ham? So it's a, it's a sweet and almost a little bit spicy glaze. So it's got a little bit of our barbecue rub inside of the glaze as well. So uh -huh. not too much spice, but just enough um, to get that smoky flavor to it. Mm. And then for the sides, you guys have? We have a cornbread stuffing. Okay. Um, so a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. It's got some onions and celery in there. Um, and then as well, we have our green bean casserole, um, which is our twist on a green bean casserole. It has mushrooms inside. Um, it's a cream base. It does have panko and Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. um, the cool thing about the green bean casserole is that we can do without the panko and that will make it gluten free. So oh. for people that have any gluten allergies, um, this is for them. The ham and the turkey are both gluten free as well. Oh, that's a great option. Yeah, I'm glad you thought of the customer like that because most of the time, you know, it's like, you get what you get. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, so. So as far as the packages, you guys have two options available. What are those? Is it for a small, large? Yes, or? we have a package for five to six people, um, which includes everything listed here. Turkey, smoked turkey, smoked ham, the green bean casserole, the uh, uh, cornbread stuffing, mashed potatoes and gravy, house-made cranberry sauce, and then dinner rolls. Okay. Uh, and then we have a larger package, which is this essentially doubled, but then we throw in a pumpkin pie at our at our cost. So we, oh. we absorb the cost pumpkin pie and throw it in for you guys. Um, not pictured here. Right. Um, but we also do sell the turkey and the ham um, by the pound, as oh. well as we sell the mashed potatoes and the cornbread stuffing by the quart or the half pan, and the sizes here are gonna be half pans. Okay. Um, so even if you decide that you just want to have green bean casserole from Sweet Fire Donna's, we mm -hmm. can 100% do that for you. If there's just one of you and you just want a half a pound of turkey, right. we can do that for you too. Awesome. So we're definitely customizable. And then how soon do people have to order it? Um, well, we're taking orders right now, um, but the last day would, is going to be Monday so that we can get the orders into our purveyors. Uh, and then all of these packages will be picked up on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Okay. We do serve them all cold with heating instructions inside of the package. 
um, so that you know what to do when you get all this food. Uh, if you would like it warm, we're, we can most definitely do that for you, but most people prefer it cold so that they can heat right. it up when they get home. That's nice. Yeah. You made it dummy proof. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and we leave the, the turkey whole so that you guys can cut it to order as well. So when you're home, you kind of feel like you can get in there and, <laughs> and curve, the, curve the turkey just like you made it yourself. <laughs> okay. So we are in a barbecue joint. So what barbecue sauce would you pair with turkey? Um, I would say either our honey chipotle, which is a sweet, spicy kind of sauce, or our original, which is kind of like your basic barbecue sauce. Um, with the ham, the glaze on it is awesome, but again, adding that honey chipotle with that sweet, savory uh, does really, right. really well together. Okay. Yeah. We also have um, one of, I asked our employees before this what they thought, and one of them uh, mentioned our white barbecue sauce, which is like oh. a horseradish-based white barbecue sauce. Oh. Um, that would be really good with turkey on a, like a turkey slider. Oh, smart. Yeah. Love that. Well, you got the rolls there, so that's perfect too. Absolutely. So as far as your favorite on the menu, which one is it? Oh, my favorite is definitely the turkey mixed with the green bean casserole. Okay. Uh, it's just like, it's just a good blend together. Uh, and then I love throwing together the after leftover sandwiches. So right. I like to put like the cranberry sauce on a little cider roll with some turkey. Right. And have myself a little sandwich. Hey, you know, Thanksgiving after foods are the best. Absolutely, 100%. And yeah. this stuff heats well. And that's, mm -hmm. that's very important with the Thanksgiving leftover <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, I'm full disclosure, I'm not a big turkey fan. So I'm glad that you guys have ham Absolutely. on the menu. That's why I kept saying, I'm looking at the ham, I'm looking at the ham, I'm looking at the ham. It looks great. Um, so I would definitely do, my pairing would be a ham sandwich with the cranberry sauce which would make you that little salty, sweet, smoky yes, taste. Absolutely. Which would be awesome. So, I know we are in the Thanksgiving mode, but let's talk about Christmas, because I heard a little birdie from your marketing uh, director that you guys are doing something pretty cool in December. Yes, uh, Miss Megan, our wonderful marketing director, has been putting together an awesome Santa Stampede. <laughs> so we have partnered with Lost Boy Cider uh, right down the street, as well as our other two sister restaurants, Whiskey and Oyster and Tequila and Taco, right down the road. And we're doing a bar crawl on December 18th from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. Um, all kinds of fun specials. We did a lot of raffle prizes. We're going to be doing drink specials. We're going to have uh, festive cocktails. Oh. Uh, and then we're going to, we'd love for everyone to dress up. So the more festive <laughs> you are, the better and the more fun it's going to be. Uh, we've got all kinds of really cool prizes locked in. Um, and it's just, it's going to be a great day. You know, oh, full cool. joy and, and maybe a few surprises. So they, should they just keep uh, um, looking out for it on your yes. social? Yeah, we'll be posting the Eventbrite today. Um, so okay. they'll be able to register on the Eventbrite. The registration fee for the crawl is $5. Oh. And we will actually be donating the $5 to Alive, which is a nonprofit in Alexandria that we love to donate to. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So I just have one final question before we close out here. So let's say I, like, I can't do the whole package, yes. but are you guys going to offer it? I know you said you're doing some things by the pound. Yes. Um, are you same thing for the turkey and the yes, ham as yeah, well? Yeah, okay. turkey and ham can all be served, you know, anywhere from a quarter pound to 10 pounds, depending on what you're looking for. Okay. Um, the smaller it gets, um, sometimes we do have to cut into the turkey, so if it's under a pound, we will have to cut into the turkey for you and pre-slice it. Okay. Um, but anything over a pound, generally we can leave that hole for you to slice. Okay. Um, and a pound of turkey feeds between two and three people. Um, same with the ham, so it just depends on how many people you're looking to feed, but okay. That's the great thing about barbecue, it's very customizable and uh, we're gonna try our best to make sure we fit everybody's needs. Right, so as far as that's concerned, I can get that anytime until the the, the Thanksgiving packages we're only doing in, on Wednesday of before okay. Thanksgiving. The smoked turkey, we sell all the time. Everything okay. else was especially made for Thanksgiving this year. Well, that's so awesome. So now we're gonna be greedy. Love it. We're going to get in. We're going to dig, gonna dig in some. and we're look at a plate and see how pretty it'll look and then put it in my mouth. <laughs> awesome. So thank you, Danielle, for putting this great presentation to, together for us. Um, so I wanted to ask you about the meat again because I know I, I wanted to know how long does it actually take to cook? Uh, so we have a beautiful smoker in the back. We set that baby to 250 degrees and between two and a half to three hours we smoke both the turkey and the ham, depending on the size. We are smoking turkey breasts, not a whole turkey, so it doesn't take as long, um, but we still like that slow and low flavor. Mm -hmm. And so 
What is in the cranberry sauce? We've uh, so we've kind that. of um, made our own cranberry sauce here. Our chef Chucho has oh. added in not only fresh cranberries, but we also have an apple cider vinegar, uh, nutmeg, and a little bit of honey to make it a little sweet. Oh, okay. Hey, sounds like a plan to me. Looks delicious. So where's my fork? Exactly. <laughs>
Lena's house-made mashed potatoes, our green beans, and turkey breast with our turkey gravy, extra side of gravy, who doesn't need that? <laughs> um, our cranberry sauce, and then it does come with a roll. So what is the price point for the dine-in opposed to the packages? That is a great question. So the price point for the to-go turkey package is going to be $80. Okay. Um, so you can get additional sides. So let's say that you're not a big turkey fan, but you know, some people are, but you love mashed potatoes and you don't want to make them. You can also right. just order extra mashed potatoes to be oh, able to okay. fill out your, your dining table. Oh, that's um, we, for the Italian family meals, the baked Alfredo mac and cheese, which is basically a half sheet pan, mm. is going to be $35. That's okay. enough to feed up to four people with double scoops. So it's way more than enough. <laughs> it's all about the double. It is. It <laughs> is. And then um, we also have our penne alla vaga and with chicken. And that is going to be, sorry, it's not on here, but it is going to be $48. Oh, okay. Yeah. So reasonably priced everything for the most part. Absolutely. We yeah. don't want to gouge anybody on Thanksgiving. We just want to make it easy. Exactly. We always say it's our house or yours. Oh, Make I it love Alina's that. day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that is so welcoming as a message. <laughs> I mean, really, though. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can never go wrong with food. Yes. You always want to have something to wash it down. Oh, absolutely. So what do y'all have for us? <laughs> so we actually brought in our what we call our holiday wines. We okay. do this every year. So it's wines that are not on our list at all. So because we feature mostly Italian wines on our oh. list. So we pair it with some of the outside wines. So basically this year we have our wonderful delicious Bella Gloss, Pinot Noir, Dairyman 2018. Um, we have our novel novelty Syrah. We also have our Pike Roads Pinot Noir, which is my personal oh. favorite. Um, we have our Selena um, Pinot Gris that goes with everything. And also, we obviously have our Steinberg. Um, it's a Sauvignon Blanc, Blanc Sparkling, which makes it unusual. Really? Mm -hmm. It goes with that. everything, but it's a great starter, too, with your appetizers as you're finishing up dinner. So um, is it on the dry side? This one? Yes. It's going to be very similar to a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. So it's going to be slightly on the sweeter side. Okay. Um, it's delicious, though. I'm not okay. going to lie. And it's very rare because it is a Sauvignon Blanc grape. Yeah. yeah. I never heard of sparkling. That's something yeah. like that really piqued me. I was like, oh, I'm about to try that. <laughs> we love trying different things. Um, and then, obviously, we have our growlers. And we have our signature Lena's uh, lager, mm. which you can get in the growler. Or, obviously, when you dine in, you can get it by the glass. Um, we also have our Lena's IPA. Everything will go nicely with our Thanksgiving meals. Okay. If you order to go, you get these 50% off for takeout. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's, we That's a winner. <laughs> I know. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking notes. That's there what's you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't talk about the squash. Yes. Because I know I talked oh, about it earlier. Right. Right. That's favorite. right. I forgot. Yeah. They, they, yes. You guys really turned me on to that. It oh. blew Mine. I love when I hear that, by the way. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. So this is one of our side dishes. It's acorn squash. It is not served to go because it's kind of one of those weird things um, when you take it to go because it does come with whipped cream, mm. which is unusual for a side dish that's a vegetable. But basically, we roast it, and we roast it with butter, cinnamon, um, and brown sugar. It is to die for, yeah. and it is, I think, somewhat healthy. <laughs> um, but it does come with our house-made whipped cream as well. Yeah, that thing is so good. It is I was, good. I was telling my friend about it the I'm other glad day. You like it. Oh my gosh. You know, it's so funny. This is one of my favorites too. I make it every Thanksgiving and I was oh, like, Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And my family will tear it up. It's awesome. <laughs> so for the takeout menus, I also yeah. noticed that you guys are also giving it, you know, paying it forward. Yes. By actually donating five percent of the sales to Alive. To Alive, yeah. So why did you choose Alive as your charity? Well, we do choose Alive quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, we are a restaurant right. and nobody should go hungry. Right. And so we really do believe in always giving back to the community and it is the city of Alexandria based. Mm -hmm. So um, it is one of our favorite charities, and we always want to give back on a day that everybody really shouldn't be hungry. Right. So that's why we chose Elias. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's very rare that most people, you know, give back to the community. Absolutely. If, you know, but you guys are so entrenched here, so it makes total sense. The Yates family really does believe in giving back, mm -hmm. and that is their motto, and, and we live into it at Lena's with them. Right. Yeah. Awesome. So, how far in advance do I need to either make reservations or order my package. Now. Okay, so we actually just opened up online ordering for all of our Thanksgiving oh. packages, so great day to come in and talk to me. <laughs> November 11th, it opens up online. If you okay. ordered it before that, you would have had to call it in. I see. Um, so make it super easy for mm -hmm. everybody. Um, but we stopped taking reservations 21st. Oh. Um, 
We do sometimes cap it because obviously our kitchen's not monstrous. Okay. So um, if it comes that we get we hit over a certain amount, we actually stop taking orders early. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say the sooner the better. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Then, so when I pick up my meal, all I got to do is just drive in the drive right up there. there. You pick it up on Thanksgiving Day, served hot, so you can okay. literally pick it up, drive home, serve it. <laughs> awesome. Easy peasy. The day of, though, we are only open from 11 to 6 because we okay. really do want to give our our staff time with their families on right. Thanksgiving and Christmas. So this will actually be served all day, and it is only while supplies last. Turkey oh. goes fast. Oh, okay, that's good to know too. Yeah. Another <laughs> insider tip. Yeah. <laughs> We are serving prime rib too, so okay. that also goes really fast. So usually around four or five, we start to sell out of stuff. Jeez. I know, it's crazy. Right? I know, I would, I I would have never there. imagined those. Yeah. It's just one of those things that you just don't know, you yeah. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as everything on the plate, or so I should say the area here now, yeah. what are your favorites that you usually serve during Thanksgiving? Um, well, you clearly know right. I serve <laughs> this one for Thanksgiving, yes. I always buy the Thanksgiving package because sadly being in the business that we're in, I don't have time to cook. My right. husband doesn't know how to cook American <laughs> food, so it's just easier for me to buy this. So I always buy two myself oh, okay. and I take it home. Last year I didn't get to keep them. I had to give them away mm. because clearly everybody wanted them, so I forgo mine last year, so oh. we didn't have turkey. But usually I always get two to-go packages. Oh. Just like any good dessert, you always got to have it at the last possible moment. So, this is our pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. House made. House made. Um, this one is actually fresh today. How is it? It's good. Awesome. The pumpkin's good. More, yeah. The cracker crust is good. Graham cracker crust. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a winner. It's a winner. I thank like you, it. Kevin. Thank you, <laughs> Chef, for <laughs> bringing you, it out. <laughs> well, thank you, Donna, so My much. Um, I really want to indulge in that squash. Oh, you can have it. This is yours. <laughs> With a glass of <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Would be ideal. Um, so but thank you once again My for allowing pleasure. us to come out and actually, you know, partake in seeing what you guys are offering. Absolutely. Come out anytime. We'll always host you. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> So as you can see, I really enjoyed that cheesecake and I actually devoured the whole thing when the cameras were down. Um, I wasn't about the sharing thing, but it was really, really delicious. Um, as you can see, Donna, uh, Lena's is offering you two options. You can either dine in or take out um, for their dine-in options. They're offering you turkey, prime rib, and the mac and cheese. Um, just like Donna said, make sure to make reservations. And if you're interested in that, make early reservations so you can get your plate and not miss out and as far as their takeout is concerned um early um early ordering is preferred uh and also make sure you get that wine that you get 50 percent off so after all of that eating we decided hey let's hit the streets and talk to some alexandrians to find out what they're doing for thanksgiving I'm just going to spend time with my family. They live in Stafford, so not too far from here. So going to drive down, uh, make some uh, Brussels sprouts, and uh, hang out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So what about the Brussels sprouts? Is that your favorite dish for Thanksgiving? Uh, no, it's always requested because I make this uh, crispy kale and Brussels sprout oh. salad, and everyone always asks me to bring it. So, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Special request. Oh, well, I'm jealous. Can I have yeah. a plate? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Brussels sprouts are a good like addition because you yeah. know what other veggies do you have except for you know the green bean casserole? Exactly. So it's like it's you know Brussels sprouts are a good way to like zazz it up a little bit and still feel a little healthy while you're you know stuffing your face. Right. <laughs> it's funny you said that about the green bean casserole. We just had some down at Sweet Fire Donna's, which was pretty good. So oh, nice. check it out. Next time you guys you know yeah go down there too. <laughs> oh, nice. So what's gonna be on your spread? Um, I don't know because my uh, friend of the family is hosting it, oh, okay. so it depends, but she makes this amazing bread pudding, so I know for a fact that'll be there. Okay. And then maybe my dad will smoke a turkey or something, oh, um, nice. and of course mashed potatoes. Yeah. Delicious. Fan favorite. Stuffing <laughs> cornbread, you know the oh. traditions, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. We, we always do like a turkey breast, okay. like not a whole turkey, you Makes know. Sense. 
so we, we sometimes we do a turkey breast. Occasionally we'll do like a Cornish game game hen. Oh yeah. You know those Ooh, little guys. Yeah. Y'all fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're e they're easy and they're yeah. like simple to cook and stuff. And then that way you're not like spending all day cooking. You're mm -hmm. spending time with your family, which is you know the important part. Exactly. So what is your after Thanksgiving meal usually consist of? Ooh, you Left. mean like with leftovers? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So we always make these homemade rolls. And so I like to take the homemade rolls and make little mini sandwiches out of it. Okay. But you have to put the mashed potatoes on the sandwich too. So mashed potatoes with turkey. Stop. And then you got to put the, then you put whatever vegetable, you put the crispy kale or Brussels sprouts on it. You make a whole sandwich. Delish. Mini little sandwiches. My favorite go-to. Okay. Well, it's you put really you're putting ideas out oh, there. Yeah. It's really <laughs> you gotta go for the mini sandwiches. Right. You know? That's what you like. That's your favorite. Not my favorite, but I like. It. <laughs> Not really. Not really. So what is your favorite? The pumpkin like pie. The mac and cheese. Oh yeah, so smoked gouda mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. You gotta do the roux. Anna, it, it's I told you y'all fancy. It's Look, good. Yeah. Right? It's really Between good. the Cornish hen, the mac and cheese with Gouda. <laughs> smoke, smoke Gouda. Delish. Yeah, zazz it up a little bit. It's really good. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for stopping. Um, we're doing a special episode on Thanksgiving and just, you know, meeting up with people to see what they're doing for the holidays. So what are your plans? So this is our first Thanksgiving, not going back home to North Carolina. We want to oh. spend it with a bundle of joy. Yes. Uh, so we'll be here uh, spending it this year. Yeah, we're staying here. Um, we didn't want to really travel too right. much, especially having like a newborn baby. So mm -hmm. we're going to spend our first Thanksgiving here with him. Awesome. And we might see some family like in Baltimore mm -hmm. okay. and eat with them um, just to be around like a small group of people. Right. But yeah, it's just a little pretty cautious. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, so that's what we're thinking about doing this year. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a different Thanksgiving for us. Mm -hmm. So what's going to be on your spread since it's just going to be a small gathering? Oh, man. That is a question. Uh, yes. Well, we know mac and cheese. Right. Fried turkey. Um, mm, that's really well. Cabbage. Uh -huh. I like cabbage or greens. Um, and he's a sweets person. OK. So anything that's sweet, cake, sweet potato pie sweet potato for sure. Pie. OK. We're definitely doing that yam. Mm -hmm. That's going to be on our spread. <laughs> well, it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, no. And I wish you the best for the holiday. Oh, thank, thank you. You, thank you too. You. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Oh, <laughs> what plans for Thanksgiving this year? Um, I actually don't live here. I live in London. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. So I when are you leaving? My family um, um, in a week. Oh, OK. Yeah. So what do you guys usually eat for Thanksgiving? Do you Turkey. Turkey. Cranberry sauce. Yeah. Stuffing, the whole deal. <laughs> so what's your favorite, though? Um, those marshmallow sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sweet potato casserole. Yeah. 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 Those. Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorites, too. Rolls. <laughs> just just um, anything. <laughs> yeah. Big American population in right. London as well. Mm -hmm. And they like, you know, the more celebrations. The oh. better, I guess. So, so yeah, it's caught on. Okay, so you guys kind of like, you know, get together yeah, and yeah. swap dishes and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. What are your plans for Thanksgiving? Uh, my family's gonna come visit me here. Okay. From where? From Louisiana. Oh, nice. What part? Baton Rouge. Oh. Yeah. So you're gonna show them around? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> and yourself? Uh, I'm going back home. I'm from New Hampshire, so oh, I'll just okay. be celebrating with my extended family. Yeah, that should be a good time. Yeah, it's always super fun. How long since you've seen them? Uh, I haven't seen them since August, so okay. it will be good to be with everybody again. Right. So what are you guys planning to have on your spreads for Thanksgiving? Are y'all cooking? Let me ask that first We're question. We're cooking. We're cooking okay. So any, uh, my favorite sweet potato casserole okay. and just mashed potatoes, so, okay. but kind of all of the above. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And yourself? I'm sure we'll go to a restaurant. So whatever, <laughs> whatever the restaurant has. Well, you better get to reserving something. I know. I know. I'm going to be behind with that. So. Right. <laughs> we'll see. Well, thank you all. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So what are your plans for Thanksgiving? Um, Actually, we love being home on the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably have uh, the children and grandchildren over. And um, just something small okay. this year. We're not doing anything elaborate. Um, 
I'm not doing all the cooking. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, and so, you know, everybody will probably like bring a dish or something like that. Okay, so Enjoy. what's usually on the spread? What do y'all usually make? Um, well. Normally we do turkey. Yeah. Yeah, turkey, the turkey, the, uh, But ham, not this year. So this year we're gonna go we're different. Gonna and uh, we did a, what's it called a butt pork. Oh, what's that? And uh, it's, and it's, it's part of, it's a part of the, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been slow grill. roasted on the grill. It's oh. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, that and fish. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> and hey, that works too. Fish outside and outside so we'll have salads and um, sweet potato pie. Sweet yeah. Potato pie. <laughs> uh, what else did we talk about having? The greens coming up. Yeah, up. greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Well, you can turn me on to something new with that smork. Smoke butt. I mean, <laughs> I never heard of it. She, <laughs> she sound like our grandson said, "Oh no, I don't want any butt." Uh uh. Slice <laughs> <laughs> Smoky off, and he young. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, but basically that's it. Oh, okay. So as you can see, I had a great time talking to everybody out in Alexandria about their Thanksgiving plans and even kind of sparked some ideas that I might do for my own. Um, I wanted to give a special shout out to Sweet Fire Donna's and Lena's for inviting us into your restaurants to feature your menus. Um, we will definitely um, put the information for their packages in the comment box, as well as if you're watching on YouTube, we'll put it in the notes, the show notes. Um, and a special shout out as well to Donna and Danielle. You guys are great and it was a lot of fun talking to y'all. Just a little admin notes for tomorrow. There will be no ZTV show online. We will start again in fri on Friday with Steve Hook and his show. Um, and it should on be Monday. a good time. Um, Sorry, because... it's Monday. Steve Hack is on and Monday. As all... <laughs> And as always, I encourage you guys to leave comments in the uh, chat box for ideas for next shows, because we are always looking for great ideas and you never know, it might make it to the list. Um, we won't have an episode in December, watch out for January. And as always, I am the Munch Travelogue, Shanice Foster, and thank you guys for tuning in today.